Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick example of how to set up an install barrier um, across a Windows computer and a Linux computer. So what barrier does is allows you to use just a single mouse and keyboard across different computers. Um, and then you can set it up a bit like you do with uh, you know, Windows computers or on, on um, Raspbian. If you have multiple monitors, then the mouse just slides off one screen onto the next one. Um, what this does for me is to tidy up my desk because currently um, I've only got two on here because obviously I've tied it up. But um, normally I would have three or four monitors on my desk. Like when I'm at work, I have three or four monitors on my desk. And then it becomes really difficult with multiple, um, uh, multiple keyboards um, for each computer. So what I'm going to do is first of all start it up, set it up, set barrier up on the Windows computer. So this is going to be what we call the server. So that's the one that's going to have the, the, the keyboard on it. But you could put the server on Raspbian if you wanted, but you don't need to. Um, okay, so on Windows, uh, you go to the link that's in the blog post. Uh, it's in GitHub, Debochi Barrier. Uh, go to the releases. In the releases, there is a barrier setup, 2.32, it's the current version. Download, so there we go. And we open it up. Just gonna install that, um, accept this agreement. Don't want a desktop shortcut. Okay, it's gonna launch barrier for me straight away. So, there we go. So as I said, this can be set up as a server. So what this means is, this one's going to be sat. So the Windows computer is going to be sat um, serving the mouse and keyboard to other computers. So what we have to do first of all is to, is to configure it. So um, because this is the second time I've come into here, it's skipped a page, but normally you just select server and it will come through to this page. So we're going to configure this interactively. So we go configure server. Normally when you open up, you'd, look, you'd see this and whatever your computer is called, would be in here, mine's called Gordon-Dell. What you then do is, uh, so I want one other computer to be set up and I want it to the left of my main computer. So I pick up this computer here and I drag it and drop it there. And as you see, it comes up being called unnamed. Double click it. And then what you do is uh, rename it to be, well, whatever you want really, but for the moment, the default is for Raspberry Pis to be called Raspberry Pi, but you can change that as you know on both sides, so it's not a problem. So I click OK, you've got this here. We click OK here, we go back here. Um, so this is basically ready to go. So I can just say reload. It will it was ro running already, but it will load if you um, had if you didn't have this installed before it, rather than re reload, it will just say start or something. So this is now running on here. So what we can do is we can now close it and it's running in the background. And then what we can do is go over to the uh, over to the Raspberry Pi. On the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to open a terminal. On the terminal, I can do sudo apt install barrier. Okay, and now if we go into the menu, you should be able to see under accessories, barrier. So click on that. And this gives you a little introduction, which is the one that you would have seen on the Windows one had I not already done it once before. Um, so we just go to English. I want this one to be a client. So previously we would have clicked on server on the Windows computer. But here we're going to click on client. Okay. And then what Barrier does now is it says, oh, okay, I'm a client and it's going to auto configure the client. So what it does is it automatically finds using um, sort of using uh, Bonjour, I believe, or um, Avahi, which is uh, a method for finding different computers, mostly based on a, a Mac method of, um, of finding computers. It finds the Windows computer, which it knows is a barrier. It's an answer, answer to it. Then there is an SSL fingerprint that it's going to uh, 
tell you, which you can then check to make sure it's that computer if you're worried about your security. I mean, don't I know that that's not an issue here. Um, so it now says, right, Barrier is now connected. You can close the config window and Barrier will remain connected in the background. So it's going to be sitting running. You can see the little icon in the top right hand corner. So it's running and I can now stop it. So now what I can do is I can get rid of my mouse and keyboard. And here, where my mouse is on this computer, I can go over here and I can click on here. So I can move things around here or I can uh, move things around on here, um, which is great. And you can also do, so it works with copy and paste. So I can, uh, you know, copy in here in Windows and then I can paste it over here on the Linux computer. So um, I just note, uh, I use the center button to paste into terminal windows. Um, but that's it. So now you have two computers set up side by side. If you want to change the, the, the uh, setup of barrier, then you can easily do that. Just um, open barrier in here. You can reconfigure it to move your Raspberry Pi. For example, you could move it to the right or move above or below. And if you have more computers, obviously you can continue on. But that's it. That's Barrier. Isn't it awesome?